Hi, so this is day one of my looking at this Nikon Z5 that I rented from Borrowlands. So go go rent right from there. It's good. So what I want to do is over the next few days I'm going to I'll create a big video at the end and slap everything together. But I want to do some quick bites, sound bites, whatever you want to call them, every day. So this is day one of me having this Z5. And as you can, I don't know if you can tell anymore because the the rain seems to have eased off a little bit. But it's been absolutely pouring down here all day, so I haven't really had a chance to do very much with this camera apart from look at it and go, "Ooh, hello, hello, camera." So hopefully the weather will improve in the next few days. I'll be able to do a little bit more. Opening impressions and thoughts. Well, first of all, it's a great little camera. It's a nice little size. It's about the same size as the 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 G9, and just to sort of pad this out a little bit or explain a little bit more, I'm going to compare this to the G9 and also to my Nikon D7000, the old camera that I have, and we'll compare the three of them just to see what they look like and how they perform. But this this is a nice little camera. It yeah, I'll go through and we can sh I can show you side by side what it looks like. It has a nice, does a flippy screen, not a not a flip out screen, but a fold down, fold up screen. The ergonomics are very nice. The buttons feel nice. The controls are really good. It's got a nice, like I say, it's got a really nice feel to it. So I really do like it from that perspective. The the challenge, the, I'll go into the challenges in a little bit, but I just wanted to say, you know, the, the 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 layout of the buttons, the controls and everything, the way they feel, how clicky they are, and tactileness and everything is very very good. So that's really good on that. On the downside, a um, couple of things that I've found so far. The first one is that the menu system is quite complicated and difficult to to do. It took me a while. I, I always use this as a test. How long does it take me to get back button focusing set up? And, I, and it did take me a little bit of time to get back button focusing set up on this camera. So that was a bit of a challenge. The other thing that, the other couple of things that I'm not really a big fan of, and I, like I say, it's been, I've, I've said it in uh, other videos, but anyway, um, I'm a little bit, we've been a little bit spoiled with the Lumix GX8 and the G9 from the perspective of usability. So for instance, the on the on this camera, the Z5, it's quite tricky to dis look at the histogram for a picture that you're about to take. There are various screens that you can flip through when you're doing your pre when you're looking through the viewfinder or the back screen, and it's only on one of the the screens. So you have to page through however many of the screens you've got enabled. You can't just have a screen with everything on it and showed the histogram. On the GX8 and the G9 I can define how big I want the histogram and I can even move it around on the screen so I can put it exactly where I want it. On this you have to have it on like screen 3 I think it is out of 5, screen 4. So it's a little inflexible So and that's a little bit frustrating to me. The other thing that I've found that's a little bit frustrating as well is I like to be able to take a picture, have it appear and then disappear so that when I've taken it so I can see what the picture looked like did I do something wrong, did I chop somebody's head off were they doing something with their, their eyes closed for instance all that kind of stuff so I like to be able to do a very quick preview of the picture that I've just taken with this if you set the preview on what happens is it takes the picture the screen kind of goes blank or flickers and then it shows the picture and I think it just stays there so you have to press the shutter release again to clear it so that you're back with the live view. Um, and, and to me that's a, a little bit of a problem. I've looked around and I think there's been quite a few uh, comments made about that on the Z6 and the Z7. So it looks like it's the same on the Z5. So the, there is a workaround where you program a button that does the preview instead of having the setting to do a preview after you've taken a picture. But I think that's kind of a bit of a hack. But I, and I haven't tried it yet, so we'll, we'll give it a try, see how that works out, and we'll take it from there. But those are my main two at the moment, the histogram thing and the, uh, and the, and the uh, live view, the, the review, not preview, review of the picture. Other than that, I've been taking a few pictures of the dogs and stuff last night when it was dark in the house. The, the image quality looks very good. I haven't taken a look on the computer yet, but the image quality does look very good. High ISO looks good, 
Uh, image stabilization looks good. Uh, I also rented a 24 to 70 f4 Z mount lens and also the FTZ adapter and I'll be putting those through their faces as well once the weather gets better. Anyway, so that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this. I will uh, see you again tomorrow. Take care.